Uh, we're also happy to hear it. It's so so nice to have a return of the concerts. Two day festival, of course, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, yesterday's announcement signaled a welcome return to somewhat uh, normal uh, Labor Day weekend for all of us. It's not just concerts, but parades are planned and the Philadelphia Marathon is back on. My gosh, the list is long. So who better to contact than City Representative Sheila Hess? Hi, Sheila. Hi, Mike. Good morning. Hi, Karen. Good morning. I guess we should start with Made in America. That's one that really had the big headline yesterday. What are you How doing? excited were you when you heard that as well, Do right? You know who's coming um, I can't believe that it's Memorial Day weekend this weekend, and the city of Philadelphia, we are ready for summer. Um, but we have have to remember though, if we want the fun to max up, we still need everyone to vax up because sure. we're not there yet. So um, only thanks to everybody who's been getting vaccinated. We've seen the numbers down. We're able to bring these things back, the events and festivals in a safe and in a new way. But uh, we are thrilled that Jay-Z will be back in the city of Philadelphia and it's their 10th anniversary as well. Mm -hmm. um, so he has promised that it's gonna be a bigger lineup of performances as well as uh, there's always a philanthropic give back to our city. So we're really happy about that. I think Just some a great partner. big, big names are gonna come. Yeah. Let's hope. <laughs> right, we big hope names. So for that. We need it, we need it, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody needs it. You just need to come together and sing and raise your hands up and sway around. Also, we just need the beauty. We're so excited um, that they had postponed the flower show to now coming up in just a couple of weeks. I think there's already some tickets. I, I was getting some of the media stuff on this one. This should be great. It's outside. Right. This is the first time ever in more than 100 years that it's an outdoor event here. It's the largest horticultural, um, you know, flower show ever in the country and it's right here in the city of Philadelphia and it'll be outdoors at the FDR Park. It starts next Friday, June 5th. Um, the only thing with this though, it was obviously planned because it's before the official 13 more days when the city will reopen and yeah. relax our restrictions. That will be um, ticketed ev event only. So like you have to buy your tickets in advance to sure. attend because they can still only maximize the space that they have. So we're so excited to have this event here. I wouldn't be shocked if we keep it outside maybe for a few years. You never know, right? This yeah, is, this is a, another first for the city. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about June, uh, Juneteenth? Uh, that's coming up really quickly. We're Juneteenth still going to be okay? Is Juneteenth is coming up, Mike, very soon, and it's on Saturday, June 19th. Right. Um, the city is always proud to partner with uh, Juneteenth. And as you know, this is the first day. It's like a National Freedom Day. It's a holiday this year that has finally been put on the calendars. And um, they are going to be holding, holding their own press conference coming up. But they will be having a music fest at the uh, Malcolm X Park sure. in West Philadelphia. They have a lot of things lined up this year. And I'm excited for them to announce yeah. that on their press conference. It'll be coming up held at City Hall okay. uh, within the next week. Sheila, I just need yes and no. Uh, welcome America, 4th of July, on or not? It is on, and you okay. will hear all the exciting things. Okay. They have a lot of new things. Right. That press conference, all your viewers can watch next Wednesday at 10 a.m. We on love Facebook. It. Got uh, it. So Mike's yeah, favorite venue on. is the Dell. How about that? Yes or no? Dell back in August? I will let the press conference tell you that. <laughs> oh, I hear yes. Uh, gay Pride Parade, on or not? So just to, to clarify this, the um, the LGBTQ plus Pride Month is kicking off on June 11th, Friday, with an official flag raising at City Hall with all kinds of performances and programs. The Mazzoni Center will also be providing free vaccines as well um, okay. for COVID-19 there. And then in September, for Labor Day weekend, will be a Pride Festival that will be returning. Okay. Marathon, we know, is back. Is it still going to be half as many people? Uh, that is correct. Okay. So we were also excited. They will be back in one. November 19th to the 21st. So okay. we are excited to have them and it will be scaled back. Uh, what are you hearing about the Roots Picnic? The Roots Picnic, uh, as of now, I do not believe they are back. They did the virtual last year and being that we just announced on June 11th yeah, and we know soon. what it takes for events to yeah. 
bring together a lot in the permits and city applications and entertainment to get. I think they are going to cancel that if you go online, but there have been discussions. Yeah. All right, so Sheila, that, thank you. Uh, so many things are making a comeback. We appreciate it. We thank are you. so excited to put Philadelphia back on the map and bring those tourists, the jobs, the economy, and get everybody here and having a great energy time. Sheila's Happy never Memorial goes home. Day. She's always out. <laughs> I don't it's believe true. she has a home. It's true.